Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalron. We got a lot of stuff to take a look at today for the BFA updates. I haven't got to look at any of this stuff yet. So the reaction you'll get is my honest first thoughts before I even got to take a look into it. I just saw on Twitter for Wowhead, there's just a lot of things. There's this and that and this and that. I saw some images and as soon as I saw a few images, I thought, okay, I got to make a video. I got to react. I got to see what this is all about. So let's take a look at the new stuff for BFA. All right, so let's take a look at what we have here. First of all, we have a mastery change for Discipline Priest. And this Priest is one of those classes that so many Discipline Priests were asking, oh, how's this going to go for the Priest? I didn't really see a lot of people getting upset or excited or anything. I guess a lot of people are just sitting still waiting for changes to happen. But the Discipline Priest and this damage slash healing mechanic that they had worked really well off of the artifact weapon as it supplemented a lot of that mechanic. That being said, when the weapon is gone, a lot of the baseline healing, especially from the artifact weapon effect, as well as multiple passives, is just not going to be quite as potent. So, this priest are losing a lot in terms of being a potent healer. So, those are just trying to change the mastery, it looks like. They're changing the mastery to be, instead of absolution, increasing how much you transfer through atonement, instead of rever reverence. Increase the damage of penance, absorption of power word shield, and healing of shadowman by 11%. I don't know if, um, I'm pretty sure Atonement is still going to be a thing, I'm pretty sure it's going to be part of the mechanic, but you're losing a lot of the aspect of doing damage to heal others with your artifact weapon, so I guess this is a lot for Blizzard to kind of make up for, and this is actually kind of an interesting change to kind of centralize a lot of that aspect. Let's say that Atonement is still in the game, because I don't know if it will be or if it won't be, pretty sure it's just a passive and mastery increases how much it does already. Mastery Reverence, uh, Penance, doing more damage means that whenever you have a bunch of people dotted up or I guess hit with Atonement, this does a lot more AoE healing. So this supplements, the more damage Penance can do, the more damage Penance can do, which is awesome. So this continues to do more damage, but that's really where a lot of your AoE healing come from. Uh, hit a bunch of people with Atonement, Penance the target, smite him a couple times and kind of go on from there. Power Word Shield being absorbed and increased. This is for the loss of the Artifact Weapon, I think, and the Shadow Man increase. Also for the loss of Artifact Weapon, but just simply their baselining and app open up a little bit more effectiveness towards your Absorbs, towards your basic single target heal, and your AoE, which will be done through damage. They also are changing some things. Uh, or Orison, which is a, a tier 5 talent instead of Clarity or Will. Power Word Shield instantly heals the target for 50% spell power. I like that instead of Clarity or Will. Clarity or Will was great for PvP and that being gone will kind of suck, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens from there. Luminous Barrier, create a shield on allies within 40 yards, absorbing uh, so much uh, spell power and versatility, damage on them for 10 seconds. Creates a shield on allies within 40 yards instead of power infusion. So that would be a nice way to do an AoE absorb, AoE heal. Because it's one of the issues with this priest is just not too much umph in terms of AoE healing. So well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Because this is my favorite healer. I'm hoping this works out in the end run. If anybody's a disc priest, let me know if this is good or bad for the spec. Because I think I'm going to continue playing disc priest in the future. I like the whole DPS and uh, healing mechanic mixed together. Survival Hunters also get a new level 7 talent, which is revealed. Wildfire Infusion, lace your wildfire bomb with extra reagents, giving it the following properties. Trap on a bomb. Travel pieces of a target, causing Mongoose Bite Raptor Strike and Witcher to apply a bleed. So all these abilities apply a bleed stacking up to three times. Pheromone Bomb. Kill Command has a 100% chance to reset against target code in pheromones. Uh, lace your wildfire bomb with extra reagents. Oh, so is it random? Or you choose what you want to lace your bomb with? Oh, so this modifies your bomb. That's weird. Volatile bomb. Reacts violently with poison, causes an extra explosion against enemies. This is just like, uh, what is that? Elemental ammo. This is like the different types of ammo that hunters used to have. You used to have the serp, uh, the poison ammo, which is just uh, flat single target damage. Explosive ammo, which would just give a, a little bit of a puff of an explosion for AOE purposes. And then frozen ammo, which was abused to all live in hell in PvP, giving your auto attacks a extra slow and dealt a decent amount of damage. That's basically what this is referring to. One of the things the Blizzard is doing in BFA is is kind of trying to buff the professions, make them a little more important. Enchanting got some interesting effects. Cool hearthing. Permanently enchants bracers. So it's a piece of uh, gear you don't actually normally enchant with any stats. So it's kind of feels, uh, sits there idle. So this is kind of cool to enchant that kind of piece of gear. To reduce the cooldown of hearthstone by five minutes while in control assets on Dalar. Save hearthing. Permanently enchants bracers to create an absorb shield around you while hearthing. Is that going to be immune absorb shield or just absorb to a certain amount of damage? That's kind of cool. Cool Tyrann Hothing, permanently enchants bracers to increase speed of hearthstone cast. And Zindalari, permanently enchants bracers to... Okay, so... 
that's uh that's cool it's like a really small uh extra bit to add to the game and it doesn't make too much of a change but it's awesome and then of course there's a lot of class changes and i'm not going to cover every single one of them there's too many to cover uh i'm just gonna go to the rogue see if there's anything in the rogue section so they're messing around with the damage of rupture it looks like the damage has been increased but then the multiplier by three is also so i guess more damage for rupture crimson tempest has a slight nerf hidden blades only available for assassination so they take away from subtle team hidden blades i wonder what they'll give them instead vitality increase your energy regeneration by 30 percent so that's kind of cool uh between the eyes cost change from 35 energy to one energy to 25 energy by one energy ghost Shark is getting a really weird change uh so you'll be able to deal 60 percent of attack power physical damage enemies take 10 percent damage from your abilities has a 30 second cooldown so i feel like we won't be grabbing ghost of strike that much or at least ghost of strike will be used for burst abilities and then kind of maintain whenever you have it it's kind of a weird mechanic i just it's going to feel weird it's going to be like a reduced version of um colossus smash from warriors or the fine weakness mechanic for subtlety from back in the day i don't know how i feel about ghost of strike i feel like it's less of a choice that i would want to grab for subtlety there's a new talent hiding behind shadows instead of hidden blades hidden blades being removed so i guess we'll just have to look forward to that and there's a lot of other changes i would recommend a lot of you guys to go to wowhead or mmo champion whenever they have it available and look the stuff up for personal classes i might take a run and uh, poke around this stuff later down the line but right now i'm just going to continue on with the video we got a lot more models like for example uh shala main which is the sword that anduin's dad very used i don't know the story and the history with the sword and how it splits i don't really know i remember there was a bit of uh lore has to do with anixia of varian being split into two there was the gray wolf and then there was like the passive version of him and they got separated one was fighting in the arenas for the orcs as a slave the other was just kind of passively trudging along manipulated by Anixia, I'm pretty sure, or one of the Anixia or her brother, Nefarian. Calamine has to do with that, so that's cool that we see the model. Then we have Nazmir. Again, I'm, I said before, we have some, uh, we have Titan S technology. This is, oh, look at that, it's a face. It's a face. No faces here, but this is definitely Titan technology. I, I, get, uh, I, I 100%, there's going to be some Titan S stuff going on with the raid. Uh, then we have war fronts. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Professions. If that was a weapon you could make as a mechanic, like an engineer, and you could have a mace with whatever stats you needed, like intellect or agility or strength, that would be awesome. So that would be awesome to see. Uh, and then battle dungeon. That's a uh, bunch of eyeballs and uh, goop. Then we have what looks like a fist weapon. If this is a fist weapon, that looks pretty beefy. Dark iron core hound. What? Is that going to be your mount? Dwarf Paladin Rams. This is gonna be the Ram. This is, I think, the Horde one. Oh my God, the coolest, the coolest Allied race mount ever. A core hound. That that's so cool. I I want to say this is like a wolf. It has a wolf skeleton. That is the coolest thing ever. That is. Oh my God. I don't care if you don't like Iron Dark Iron Dwarfs. I don't care if you think the Rachel suck. They got a dark, <laughs> dark Iron core hound. <laughs> that looks so awesome. I actually love it. Then we got some other uh, abomination. Of course, Blizzard is uh, great on the department uh, with the monstrosity. What the hell is this? Dressed for beast man? What model is this? What? It doesn't have it doesn't have hands. It's just like uh, wrapping and then a pickaxe through it or bone. What the fuck? That looks kind of messed up. Whoa! That looks kind of okay. That's messed up. That actually looks kind of uh kind of messed up. I remember when everybody made a huge deal about that Legion mount for Antorus Raid? The one that has like a bunch of draenor faces and like a mouth everybody like wow this is uh this is fucked up blizzard i i don't know how i feel about that like there are there's got to be some kind of a there's definitely some kind of a guy working or a girl it could be anybody there's somebody in blizzard working on stuff like this and they just have a sick mind or they read a lot of like arl stein kind of like goosebumps kind of shit and they come up with a lot of these ideas and they just oh shit holy crap i hit my mic they just sketch them out as soon as they can and just make the most atrocious uh just uh, ferocities of the world i mean holy shit that looks creepy but it looks great i love the artistic design of it it looks awesome and then we got ourselves a trilobite crawlers trilobite and these guys are they're the uh the snake people mounts 
We've seen a few of those, and I guess we're going to be able to ride one of them. What I think will be, there will be a faction of the snake people that's friendly, kind of like the High Mountain Torrent. And then there will be a faction that's the bad guys, or that are hostile. Kind of like how the High Mountain had one of their tribes, one of the three tribes, uh, convert to fell, and they'll be, they'll be like the bad guys for a while. I think that's kind of what this is going to end up being. I highly doubt that these guys will be allied races. Some people asked, what is the possibility? Wow, this thing, I kind of like the way it moves. I mean... I'm usually not a huge fan of anything bug-like, anything spiders, or anything that skitters around. But the way this thing looks like, it's almost like it swims. Like, if you don't look at the feet, it's almost like it swims on on ground. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you for today. Let me know your thoughts. I am super, super excited about the Dark Iron. Super excited to see what's going to happen with Rogues. Because, as well, again, not a huge amount of changes happen for Outlaw. Subtlety is kind of getting almost like reworked. With old expansions being brought in, but kind of keeping more of the same. Assassination is getting a lot of changes, but really just your mastery and a lot of bleeds and focus of your damage. I cannot wait for some kind of a huge patch update for rogues, because I feel like one is coming, or we're going to see some huge out of rogues very, very soon. But so far, I, I'm i excited about what is next to come for rogues, but I'm also excited about the, all these mounds that are coming out. Super excited about all these creatures of horror and wonder. I mean... That actually looks really, really, I, I really don't like the way that head looks. That's the only thing I don't, I'm not a huge fan of. But I'm a huge fan. I want to see what's going to be the Dark Iron stuff and Dark Iron Dwarves and the mounts and the classes that they have. Super excited about this stuff. So, as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give this video a like. Likes allow my videos to reach a wider audience and grow my channel since uh, it seems that videos with a lot of likes. YouTube just promotes them a lot more. So that helps me out a ton when if you guys do that. Uh, as always, if you enjoy videos, updates like these for BFA, patch updates, discussion videos, or 5 duels, then go ahead and hit subscribe. We put out two videos a day. And if you guys want to catch the stream, today we should be doing a EU Horde 5 duels on Friday. Same time as usual, 7, uh, I don't know, 5 p.m. Eastern. So I don't really know how it is for regions on you. Usually 11 p.m. or so, 10 p.m. Depends where you live, of course. Uh, if you guys want to catch the stream and participate, go ahead and hit the notification bell down below in order to be notified on every single video that goes live and every single live stream that is live so you guys can come in and participate. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see all of you in another video.